Bellant, one of the hardest games to learn that prioritizes accuracy and communication, which is what I don't have. <laughs> the most challenging thing to do in this game is to get it up to the highest rank, such as Raiden or Immortal. And as a newish player, I want to see if I can get Immortal in the next 30 days. So in the next couple of days, I'm going to be using different agents each day and see how quickly I can climb up the ranks. So today is day one. So we have to start with playing the five placement games to see what my rank is. It's most likely I'm going to get bronze or silver. So we started with game one, straight away my teammates die and I was left to take them out and uh, uh, yeah, that, that didn't happen at all. I died straight away. My aim isn't great because I didn't watch any videos on how to play, such as shooting the weapon in like three bullets instead of spraying my whole clip and aiming towards their head. So most of the time I'm just spraying towards their chest. Eventually we got to round six. I was able to get two kills with my accuracy not being too bad. Mostly the same thing happens. I use my ult, I get shot. I shoot someone, I get killed. My accuracy isn't great, especially when I'm using the ghost. And still I'm trying to control the recoil of the weapon. And surprisingly, we actually won the first game. So I started the next match. Seeing if I can get the same win as I did last game and immediately I got shot from heaven and after the second round our teammate disconnected Which is not great because if you play Valorant, you know that your team's the most important thing And if you lose a teammate you're at a massive disadvantage So for the next few rounds we weren't looking too great and actually my teammates wanted to surrender But luckily we didn't because eventually he came back and from that moment we actually started playing as a team We started winning rounds. We started playing well We even won a round without even me planning yet I was still missing shots and I was still dying quite a lot, but but with the help of my team, we still won. So now with two wins on my name, I was fine losing one or two games, but that's when it all went downhill. When it's all like queuing in ranks, you'll get some bad teammates like me, but it doesn't help when your whole team doesn't know what to do. From limited communication and bad strats, we lost a few rounds. Majority of the time, we were getting at least one or two kills and immediately dying right after. Most of the time, we tried changing it up. I'm slow pushing or rushing, but at the end, we lost. Now we're up to game four, and it was basically just like the last one. Little to no communication, still missing our shots, and dying quite a lot. The only interesting thing that happened this round was in the middle our Viper decided to block off mid and we were able to rush A which we won that round but then we tried it again and uh, well that didn't really work. Game 5, our final game. Surely I had to end it with a win and if you thought yes you'd be wrong because we lost. Nothing really happened this round besides two of our teammates being toxic towards one another which is always fantastic. We finish up with a loss and now it's time to see what my actual rank is and surprisingly it's bronze 2. Not what I hope for because it looks like I'm going to be stuck in this rank for a while because that's usually how bronze goes but luckily I'm not an iron though <laughs> that's the only positive so there we go day one already completed 29 more days to go I'll be streaming the rest of these in the next couple of days and I'll also be playing as new agents each day to see what they do and see which one's my favorite so if you guys want to see that turn on the notifications to know when I go live but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow